I mean, they've already said so much. I mean, Target's a great example, Dana, of where they got inventory wrong, made steps to correct it. What is the mood then this ordering season? Where's the line between clearing out inventory but making sure you have enough inventory if things do re recover? So the numbers I'm hearing from my network is overall orders from the wholesale accounts could be down as much as 10 to 15 percent in order to be able to come back to a better margin than what you're going to see right now. I think there's a difference between the companies and the stocks. A lot of these stocks that you've seen out there in our consumer world, they're down 30, 40, and 50 percent. So the valuations are already discounting the risk that's in there for 23 numbers. All right. So ladder at Forest at the moment, soft lines, uh, hard lines, uh, home improvement. Uh, where, what are your favorites? I want to be in value and I want to be in brands. So I think brands like Ralph Lauren are going to continue to be able to grow their average unit retail selling price. I think you have retailers like Ulta, who's going to benefit from the strength of what's happening in beauty, both in makeup and in skincare. I think of companies like Deckers, whose innovation on footwear with Uggs and Hoka continues to show appeal. And I think the trade down on value, TJX and Walmart, those are going to win in 2023. Do you think luxury has another leg here if, in fact, China reopens the way some hope? Or is, is I mean, is the overall uh, mood going to be too deflating? couple things. I think that luxury overall, that consumer always has more to spend. Even now, we're hearing about the rate of growth of luxury moderating from what it was. But what, importantly, it's still growing. LVMH, Estee Lauder, they are big opportunities from the reopening of China. And luxury trades at such great margins. And the price increases that you've seen, it leads them to continue to have, in my mind, a better 2023, especially if China reopens. Hmm. Dana, thanks as always. Great to get your take. Dana Telsey, Telsey Advisory.